I remade new bio mobs in Minecraft. Let's turn this cow into a camel. Camels are coming to Minecraft, so we've got a good idea what they need to look like. We'll elongate the neck here, make sure to add a hump to the back, splash on some color. Now we'll start adding details to the face and body. Lots of shading to get the look just right. Fix up that tail and our camel is ready to rock. Look at this, we've got ourselves a mob zoo. The perfect place to bring our camel. And we even got ourselves a camel enclosure. Bring in a camel. Look at that hump. Legend says these things can fill an ocean, but a proper zoo would probably have multiple camels. One, two, three, four, and I believe our buddy Junior over here, five. It looks like our wall is secure and our zoo is starting off on good footing, but we can't build an entire zoo with one mob. We'll turn this salmon into a shark. You're gonna need a way bigger body, buddy. That means bigger fins all around too and a bulkier head. Once we've got the shape right, we could start adding some color and details to get the look of our new shark mob. Can't forget those gills or the teeth. This could be interesting. I hope these guys stay in here. Let's put them down at the very bottom to start out with. One whole shark. I'm not sure if they live in packs or not, but let's bring in one, two more. I believe we've got a solid Solid viewing enclosure down here as well so we can view these sharks from a safe distance. So far, these guys look like they're having a mighty good time. I think we need to spice things up just a tad. I don't know if husks can breathe in water, but there's two of them right there. And so far, they look like they're breathing water just fine. Let me see if I can get back to our enclosure. Oh, I don't think we're gonna have time, actually. The three sharks took them down quick. It turns out almost nearly exactly as I expected. In complete and utter destruction. A horse is perfect to make into a zebra. No need for all that tack. Give a little more definition to the legs to be more realistic, then we can get to some shading. We'll need a black and white mane, and then to cover the whole body in stripes. Are zebras black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Huh. Ah, here we are, the zebra enclosure. Let's toss down a zebra here, oh my goodness. Absolutely majestic. These guys look amazing, though they still sort of look like horses. But the major difference between a zebra and a horse is that a zebra is able to hide because those stripes are basically camouflage. These husks here have absolutely no idea what they're dealing with. Check this out, the zebras within fighting distance, but absolute peace. Oh, except for a camel here that got out of its enclosure. All right, Bob, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Let's turn this wolf into a monitor lizard. First, we'll work on making that wolf body shape into a big lizard. That means a nice long neck and tail, plus its legs are way lower to the ground like that. Since it's a reptile, we'll need to shade it with pebbly lizard skin all over its body. And finally, give its feet some toes and sharp claws. This spot here looks perfect and dry enough for a few lizards. I don't know if these guys like to live together, so one there, and we'll put one over here on some dirt. Almost blended in perfectly. I don't know why for sure, but maybe they eat each other or something. Just to be completely safe, let me provide some sort of distraction for these lizards. And it turns out these lizards are hungry. Two husks down and another husk down as well. Oh my goodness gracious. And Bob, what are you doing in the lizard enclosure? Can you please return to your... Oh my goodness, Gerald! Did you tell Gerald how to get out of the enclosure? Let's turn this fox into a sloth. <sighs> Sloths like to hang from trees, but we'll model this little buddy on the ground. Now we'll give it some long arms, perfect for hugging trees or people. Same thing for legs. Give it some color to its fur and some little claws for gripping trees and grabbing leaves. Look at that friendly little face. In my mind, I always thought these guys were sort of cute, but this sloth just looks like a crouching demogorgon. There's a thick patch of fur coming down his back. He's sort of human-like, like that thing from Lord of the Rings. And to make it even more creepy, these sloths are rather slow. If I put some sort of threat over here, honestly, it takes a rather long time for him to even figure out that there is something nearby that could actually hurt him. I don't think we have to worry about this fella like we have to worry about Bob. He's not gonna break out of his enclosure anytime. Hey, there's a lizard. <laughs>
He's not gonna break out of his enclosure anytime soon. Now for an alligator. Let's use this spider. Let's put a big mouth on this little guy. Extend that body and add a long tail. Little legs that are strong enough to move that bulky body around. Cover this guy in scales and shading all over for the perfect alligator skin. And of course, a sharp set of chompers. This is the perfect swamp for an alligator. Scaly, legs together, long tail, big massive chompers. That's an alligator if I've ever seen one. These guys hunt alone, but they tend to stay together. The only thing I'm truly concerned about is this guy getting out. Because no matter how big an alligator gets, these guys are quick. They can charge fast, roll over, and do a ton of damage. Let me drop this guy here just on the other side of the tree. Oh, they've both found him already. There's gonna be another charge here from another alligator. Bam, that's a second bite and the husk goes down. Yup, I definitely want to be sure to test this glass all the way around this enclosure. An ocelot is a great mob to turn into a snow leopard. We'll take this jungle cat and reshape the body for our snowy mountain leopard. Snow leopards have some extra thick fur to keep warm. And we'll adjust those legs to look a little more cat-like. The coloring needs to be way more brown to blend in before we cover this cat in leopard spots all over. These guys are small, but they are extremely 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 quick they can move fast all the way through the mountains but he's broken out of his enclosure here take some meat oh no the alligator is hunting this zoo is not the safest place to be let's back you away from the alligator head on over this direction no oh boy the husks have got out too it looks like our snow leopard is gonna take care of those guys though including bob bob you gotta stop getting out all three husks are wiped out nearly in instantaneously. You know what? I'm gonna keep this salmon on hand because you look a little dangerous. This bat will be our owl. We can get rid of those wings for now and work on making his body owl shaped. A little more shaping for how all those feathers would sit. Add some feet and some claws. Time to bring back those wings. Now let's shade in all those feathers. Look at those huge owl eyes. Finally, something just a little bit more peaceful. A cute little Ow. I know that Bob and the alligators and literally everything else has gotten out of all of my enclosures. And I'm sure that this owl is not going to be an exception. But this fella could follow us around wherever we want to go. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. He's gone. Where did he go? Where did our owl go? I thought if I gave him freedom, he would stay loyal. Oh, wait a second. Oh, my goodness. He dropped me meat. Raw chicken meat. I didn't ask for this, but I'm so sorry for the chicken that had to... Oh, boy. Oh, there's another one. You know what? I'm gonna just keep you nearby. But that feels just a tad bit gruesome. Let's turn this sheep into a reindeer. Raise up that hat. Add a snout and some floppy ears. Then we'll work on those iconic reindeer antlers. Some legs for leaping. Add a splash of color. And then shade it up to finish up. The snow, the reindeer, they are here. I haven't seen one myself since Christmas. Actually, I don't think I saw one on Christmas either. Those antlers are immaculate. This is the feller that delivers my presents every single year? Oh, wait. Hold on there, reindeer. Don't go too close to the fence. No! He's jumped out! And he's continuing to jump? Where is he headed? Through the forest. Through the owl exhibit. This reindeer just wants to jump all the way from the sloth enclosure headed towards the lizards. I guess these reindeer just want to explore a little bit. After all, I guess they only do Christmas. This moose room will be our moo bloom. Let's start out by recoloring this red into a sunshine yellow. That looks like an omelet. Now we'll add a couple bright sunflowers on top of its back. Now that is one colorful moo bloom. Sunflowers galore. Bang, there's a blue one too. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Another yellow one, another blue one, another yellow one, another purple one. These moo blooms are going crazy. Yellow, blue, purple, and red as well. These moo blooms come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Well, same shape, same size, just different colors. And the best part of all is that they spawn loads of flowers all around them. Oh my goodness gracious. 
this enclosure has become overgrown. And now even the Moo Blooms are getting out of their exhibit. I think I might just be running the worst zoo in the entire world. Let's turn this iron golem into a shroom golem. Let's give him a better mushroom color and start giving him a mushroom cap. Stack these blocks up and make them bright red. We'll add some roots and fungus all over it. Some white spots on that mushroom cap and a little shading with some eyes will bring this shroom golem to life. We are gonna need some big space for these guys because they are big with some big mushroom cats. This guy looks like he's wearing a sun hat over here. Let's see if we can trade him something more valuable for that mushroom hat. There's a brown mushroom. Give me something in return, maybe? Oh, hey, wait a second. Come on now, something better than that. More dirt, this stuff is useless. On top of all of that, my zoo doesn't have any visitors at all. The only thing it has is Bob that keeps breaking out. 